Guys, it's finally here. After much delay, the set we've all been talking about, the set we've all been wanting, Japanese 151. So this is Japanese newest set, Pokemon 151, and it kicks it all the way back to Kanto with the original 151 Pokemon. And this is one of the hottest sets out right now. And after many shipment delays, scalper issues, we finally got our hands on some booster boxes. Let's crack into them. All right, guys, no more waiting around. We're gonna hop into the 151. I've been asked for this set probably more than any set that I've ever opened up on the channel. And for good reason. This is the hottest set out right now. And I was lucky enough to get these for like $140. They're currently going right now at the time of filming this. I want to say $190. Plus, there's like this whole scandal. They're stealing cards. They're scalping cards. So, we're lucky. We've got it. We're going to crack into it. All right, guys. Pack number one of our first ever opening of Pokemon 151. And I've got a feeling there's going to be a lot of this opened up on the channel. One thing about Japanese Pokemon is I have the hardest time opening this stuff. It's literally like sealed shut. I've tried not to watch many openings of this because I was wanting to be shocked of what we're going to pull and some of the artworks, but we're kicking it off already with a full art trainer. That's a good start. To the episode, not gonna lie, not the top Erica that we're after, but it's our first hit that's ever been pulled in 151. And not only is this a special episode because we're opening up the new set, but this is our first ever entire booster box that I've opened up on the channel. I've wanted to do this before, but booster boxes are just so expensive to like open up and it's like one episode. But this set, I just couldn't help but do it. There's only 20 packs in a booster box, so it's actually perfect amount to open up on the channel. Hollow Gyarados for a second hit, nothing crazy. So there's a few cards that I'm after today. Obviously, everybody's wanting the Erica. The top Erica is so expensive right now. But obviously, you guys already know, we want the Zard. I'm kind of feeling an Alakazam. Maybe some of the evolutions of Blastoise, Venusaur. I think this would just be some of the coolest artwork. So hopefully we can pull some today, because I just want to see them. Oh. Speaking of, this kind of looks like the cliff scene where there is a Charmeleon. Is it Charmeleon or is it Charmander? It's like it stacks up in the pictures. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes, sir, Charmeleon. That's literally the one I was talking about. Let's go. Sweet. That is sick. Let me sleeve that up, guys. Get the sleeves out. We might as well go ahead and get the top loaders out because we're going to pull some fire today. That is awesome. Literally what I was just talking about. That's the card that I wanted to pull. We'll go ahead and sleeve up the full art trainer too. Let's go. That's what we like to see to kick off an episode. Are the pulls gonna be good? Is this gonna be juicy? It needs to be. We're coming off arguably one of my worst Pokemon episodes that I've ever put out on the channel. I hated to upload it. It was the Evolving Skies from Tuesday. But it... Let's go. Literally guys, back to back. And that's exactly the cards that I said I wanted to pull, was the evolutions of these. We got Squirtle now. Let's freaking go into a hollow there. So actually some of the hollows aren't bad. If, like if you can get a hollow Erica, stuff like that, they're pretty solid in value right now, obviously. Mega inflated when the cards are being stolen and scalped and everything in between. Cards are gonna be jacked up in price. So if you're wanting to buy the set, hold off. Sorry to interrupt your fire pulling program, but we're gonna be giving away a sealed booster box of the Japanese set 151, so stick around to the end to win. Let's go, that's a sick hit right there. But like I was saying, Evolving Skies, oh my lord. I didn't wanna upload it, I debated it for days, but here's the reason why I did. One, I gotta keep it real, can't be fake and make you guys think that Pokemon's just the absolute most goaded set in the world, like any set. And it was a lot of money opening up Evolving Skies. That many packs, I think it was like 15, 16. And we had, what, five brilliant stars? We got a hollow Machamp to nothing. Little Raticate there. So I had to open it up, guys. It was so much money invested. And I just wanna keep it real. We're gonna keep it honest on this channel. You can't always hit in these packs. And I know sometimes, like, my channel makes it come off like, dang, he's just gonna be pulling fire all the time. But they don't happen. I, we just hit a lucky streak and we were on fire, but we're back at it. We're opening up 151. You know we're about to pull some heat. We've got, it looks like an EX right here. Hopefully, we can pull the Charizard EX. That's my favorite EX in the set. We're kicking it off though. Alakazam, first EX out of 151. Let's go. I actually thought we would pull an EX before, before we pulled one of these, but can't complain. What is that, four hits? What are we in, five packs, something like that? We are just on fire. An entire booster box of this? We may be buying some more. If I can find a price a little bit cheaper than the 180, 190 right now, I'll buy some more. We'll definitely open up more. 
And obviously we're getting this in America later this year, so we'll have tons and tons of that. Let's see what else we can pull. It's literally like, it's like Christmas right now. You just don't know what you're about to pull. I see an EX in there. We got the hollow or the reverse right there, Dragonite. Is this a Venusaur? Oh, this is gonna be sick. Guys, I'm literally one for wanting every single card that I looked at that I want in this set. Before I open this up, I was just kind of scrolling through the artworks, you know, getting familiar with it, because I've not watched any openings, like I said, so I was like, which ones am I wanting? And this is the one I was wanting, let's go. Venusaur EX, sweet. Are the pools just this good, or we get a freaking God box? Is that what I'm hearing? But all jokes aside, there are God packs, and I don't know the odds of like getting those, but it's like insanely tough. So don't expect us to pull one of those if we do. I'm milking a God Box title. Go ahead and y'all already know. I'm gonna be the master of the God Box titles. I am literally use those probably three, four times. So we're gonna be known as the God Box YouTuber if nothing else. I don't think we have anything in this pack. Okay, okay, and two. We just got a hollow Dragonite. Nothing too crazy. Artworks are really nice on these cards though. Even like the like non hollows and stuff. Which how can you go wrong? The original 151 out of Kanto, like you, you can't screw up these artworks. It's just they're all beautiful. Clefairy there. Let's see what we got. Looking like we Oh, the Mewtwo baby! Literally, you just don't know what you're gonna pull! One after another after another! Let's go! Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Oh man, guys, is this the most loaded set? Is this why everybody's stealing it? Are the pools just that good? Oh my lord, how many packs are we in? I don't even know. And we've pulled, it feels like every single pack, like eight packs maybe? Man, this set, I hate to do it to Crown Zenith, but this might be the new Crown Zenith. Y'all already know, if you're new to the channel, Crown Zenith was the sweet spot and the just like the heart of this channel. We pulled in it and pulled and I opened it up, it felt like once a week. Is 151 about to take that from us? I hate to do it to Crown Zenith. So it's treated us well, but these artworks are just, they're next level. All right, we just got a little hollow there. Show you guys some of the artworks. I'm kind of like skipping through the last two cards. I believe technically there's a card trick in this. It's two to the front, but we don't have time for that. I, we got to see what these cards are, man. We got a display hits. I don't even know how many packs we've opened, but this is sick. I'm so excited for this set. Let's see what else we got here. So we just got a little hollow right there. A couple more artworks. The artworks are nice though, like even the hollows. Some of the hollows are actually kind of expensive. I've seen on resale value on a uh, Pokey Data. But like I said at the beginning, it's just where it's new. New sets are always inflated. Plus when they're in like high demand. What's not in high demand though and is cheap is Paldea Evolved. Have you guys seen the market crash on that? Magikarp dropped in value, the sealed products, ATBs, I swear I seen one for like $30 the other day. Booster box is going for 80. There we go, Ooh, nice little Flareon, let's go. Hollow, is that worth anything? I don't know, I'm sleeving it, I like it. Nothing else, I like this card. But yeah, Paldea Evolved, just for one, no, I mean literally nobody cares about it. And it's just going down in value. So if you guys wanna open up a very generous set at a generous price, Paldea Evolved. We've opened it up a couple times on the channel and I've had great luck in it. I like the artworks, I like the chase card, the Iona, and some of the new Pokemon in there just have some nice artworks, but nobody cares. It's like the least sought after set in Pokemon history, it feels like. But it's cheap right now. What is this, what is this, what is this? Y'all ready? Ready for another EX? Come on, three, two, one. Hey, okay. May not be one of the top hitters, but we will definitely take that any day of week. We got a Persian right there. Hits are generous. Japanese, I've had good luck in Japanese. Like I've said, I don't, I never open up an absolute ton of it. I buy a booster box about every set. Nothing too crazy. And the pulls for me are usually pretty generous, so this one's definitely up there. That is for sure. Hop into this next pack. I feel like we still got a few left in that booster box over there. Let's go through this one. I've got a little growl there. It's so nice to see the original Pokemon back in here. I like the new ones, but, ooh, Vaporeon Hollow. We'll sleeve that up. I like anytime we can get a Eeveelution as a win, because we're not gonna pull it in Evolving Skies. And I don't care how much you guys wanna see it again. I don't care how many comments. I don't care if it starts raining booster boxes out of the sky. I'm not opening it up ever again on this channel. 
unless it's like I'm guaranteed some of the alt arts because I'm sick of it. I shouldn't have done it the next time, but I was like, we're on fire. Well, it humbles you, guys, I'm telling you. It's not even worth it. Got a Gengar Hollow. Dang, these artworks are pretty sick. How many packs we got left? Let's get them out of the booster box here. So we're still rocking with five packs. We still got some magic left in us. And something that I wanted to mention over here on this channel, or not this channel, this content, that's how bad this is, is I thought this was a second channel. So we're PokeFit, y'all already know, fitness Pokemon. Changing the game, some would say. But if you guys are interested, I am running a sale on the one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you guys already know, I'll pop it up right there on the screen. Personal trainer, certified through NASM, BA in biology, all that good stuff. And I'm running the sale. 50 bucks a month to be one-on-one -on -one coach. That includes custom workouts tailored to you and your goals. So if you don't want to go to a gym, home workouts, or you like going to the gym, or you just want to run, you just want to walk, it'll be tailored to you. And I'll uh, get you guys like custom meal plans, how many calories, how many macros, stuff like that. 50 bucks a month, absolute steal of a deal. And a lot of people think that my coaching is like for bodybuilding or preps, physique shows. And I don't know how we've got off onto that like, like tangent, but people think that. So they're a little intimidated by the coaching, but it's literally, if you've never stepped foot in a gym or you just want to test it out, get your feet wet, or you used to be into it and you've strayed off, it's literally for anybody, beginners, experts. We can do it with literally anyone. We got another EX right here. Got a little Team Rocket action right there. But yeah, it's literally for anybody, males, females, literally whatever your goal is, lose weight, gain muscle, just be better health, we've got you. Plus fitness is like the best confidence boost. So if you're somebody who don't like to talk a lot, shy, fitness is a great way to just like be more confident in your own shoes. So just wanted to clear that up because some people may have been on the fence about coaching. They're like, nah, I don't want to be bodybuilder. But it's overall health, it's just overall confidence. It's literally just gonna help you out in life. Jolteon, we're about to pull the whole evolution. That'd be sick. We've got a couple packs left here. We're gonna hop right into these. But yeah, 50 bucks a month. We're gonna be running the sale for probably until the end of summer, because I know everybody wants to get the summer body, lose some weight, and we'll literally help you do anything you want. If you wanna get shredded for summer, shredded for the vacation, we're gonna be running $50 a month up until probably the end of August. So ho hopefully we can see some of you guys sign up for that. Love to help you all. Even if it's just, like I said, get y'all in better health. All right, we're striking out in the last few packs here. Nothing crazy. Let's see if we can pull a little last pack magic out of Japanese 151. No matter how many packs of Japanese you open, it flies by. What is there, seven cards in here? We had 20 packs in the booster box and it just flies by. But all right, guys, we'll do the card trick on this one. One, two to the front. Here we go. Let's see if we can pull a little last pack magic here. Nothing else, we pulled gas. The Mewtwo, Charmeleon, Squirtle. All right, we just finishing off with a Mr. Mom Hollow. We done Rev Proud. Well guys, it looks like the hype is definitely real. I'll show you guys some of the cool hits we got. The Mewtwo, the Squirtle, Charmeleon, and then we got a Daisy's Care. Plus we had an additional four EX cards. So the hits are definitely generous in this set. Plus we had a couple of the Evolution Hollows, but if you're looking to get a booster box, you're definitely gonna pull. And speaking of a booster box, y'all already know I had to give one of these boxes away to one of you guys. So as always, all you gotta do is drop a like on this video, comment down below. What card are you looking to pulling most out of 151? Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Also, winner for the last giveaway will be the pinned comment down below. Catch y'all then, peace.